Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we got a doubleheader. We're going to have the Appalachian State Mountaineers 2-0 on the season traveling to take on the number two ranked VMI Key Debts. That's going to be a fun game. Looking forward to that one. That's our first game. Our second game of the night is going to be number one Savannah State 3-0 on the season traveling to take on the Hampton Pirates in Hampton, Virginia. That one probably won't be, you know... <laughs> as good a game as this first one but we are sure to see a lot of highlights here tonight and I'm gonna get this shared in the discord community and we're gonna get this thing popping guys I'm pretty excited about this uh, this first game App State 2-0 and and let's see what is their rating their ratings only a D plus but we saw Prairie View a and beat Cal Poly so I mean strange things happen in this series all the time so we'll see what happens here tonight Shout out to Pete Mitchell in the Discord community. Donate $5 to the Discord community so we could have some extra emotes in there. An actual legend. And also shout out to Hammer Jammer who's hooking me up with all these fine thumbnails every single stream. You are also a legend, sir. And before we get into the game, don't forget to slap that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And we are about to get this thing started. Let me just save this last thumbnail. And we'll get it going, guys. Uh, I want to save it now before we get into the stream, and then it makes the stream lag because my computer is a dinosaur. All right. Exit out of that. Get going up in here. We're shared. We're good to go. And let's get it popping. Let's do it. All right. There we go. Okay, we're ready. I'm ready. It's all good. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go all black. It's Blackout City. Let's do it. I'm ready. Pull up the stream on my phone so I can see who we got in the chat. Oh my goodness, Mountaineers have three injuries on the offensive line. Wow, that's, that's going to be tough for them um, considering VMI has one of the best defensive lines you know in the entire country you got Cam or not Cam Sanders as I'm looking at his name my goodness uh, William Reed at defensive end uh, Henry Hamilton at defensive tackle it's Javon Stewart <laughs> this is gonna be insane guys all right we're going black versus white unis VMI on offense first and here is their offense led by junior quarterback Justin Hopps in the backfield, Cam Sanders and Ladarius Johnson at halfback. Matt Keller at fullback. The receiving core is Joseph Martin, Jason Wright, and Eric Matheny. And at tight end, Jake Berry and sophomore tight end, Jay Balmer. Here is Bryson Shields. He's a cornerback for this team. And he is also a junior. Nice blocking and gets it up to the 24-yard line. All right. What are we going to do here today? Let's see. Thumbnails have been great. Yes, sir, they have. John Perez in the chat, also known as uh, Pete Mitchell. Plays for the Savannah State Tigers. Goat. Marvin Joseph. Parker Thomas in the chat. Savannah State plays next, guys, so stick around for that one. Who's open? Jason Wright, wide open. Oh, he got it. Look out. Jason Wright, first play of the game. And he's gone. Touchdown. Get it. Oh, my goodness. That's a cause for a celebration. Let me get some of this Arizona iced tea in my face right now. Oh my goodness gracious. That is nuts. <laughs> Man. So, two games in a row, we got some fireworks on the opening play last game, last night for the Bryant Bulldogs. Cy Summers, first play on offense for uh, the team that they were facing, which was the Howard Bison. He absolutely destroyed a receiver coming across the middle and fumbled the football. So there was a firework play there, and we got another big play here to start this game. App State struggling already. 15 seconds into the game, 7 nothing. Number 2 VMI on top. Bryson Shields in the chat. What's going on, Bryson? Carter plays in the chat. What's going on, Carter? torn because these are both rivals for App State. 
or for Western uh, Western Carolina and App State. Hey man, there's there's lots of rivalries in college. Basically, you just gotta pick one and, and root for them. <laughs> Doesn't matter too much. Come on, snap the ball. Come on now. What you gonna do? Oh baby, almost had that pick. Almost had it. I will go over the defense here in a moment for VMI. Where is that throw? Okay, Jackson with a nice catch. Don't forget to slap the like button for me, guys. More likes we get on a video, the better chance we have to be seen by people that are not subscribed to the channel. Helps the community grow, helps the channel grow, make some new friends, create memories that will last a lifetime. All right, third down and three for the Mountaineers. They're gonna go play action. Over the middle, incomplete. He had a man open. Uh-oh, quarterback down for App State. They already are down three offensive linemen, and now their starting quarterback could be hurt for the rest of this game. I didn't even get a chance to go over the defense. Maybe next drive. All right, Bryson Shields back deep to return it. And he will get a chance here from his own 33-yard line. We're going to cut it up to the left side and get it up to the 40. I'll take that. I kind of want to do that same play that we scored on before, but I'm not going <laughs> to. I don't want to cheese the game. I don't know if it was actually a cheese play. It was just a really good play by uh, Jason Wright. Hops on the option. And Justin Hops will pick up eight yards for the Cadets. My sweet revenge in the chat. What's going on, Audrey? How you doing? All right, Hops. Okay, okay, Dan. Okay, Matheny. Oh, with a spin and a juke. Oh, he's gone. Touchdown. Let's go. Oh, there's a flag. Oh, that makes me so sad. Come on, bro. Rhodes, you're fired, my guy. You're just, you're absolutely fired. Oh, that is so, so depressing. The spin was nasty. Yes, it was. Unfortunately, it didn't count. Chaos driven in the chat. What's going on, brother? Uh oh, uh oh. Joseph Martin. Oh, he slowed down at his. Oh, that's terrible. Slowed down. Right as I hit the button to throw it to him. Alright. Third and 11. You're doing great. Awesome. How am I? Well, I'm breathing. That's, that's pretty much the only thing I can do at this point. Alright, who wants it? Oh, that was a great deflection by the linebacker. Okay, then. Okay. Guess we're punting it away. Feels real bad. Huge touchdown for the freshman receiver. And it just gets called right back. Feels bad. Travis Phillips he used to be a subscriber player. Left the Discord server and is no longer. So, you know. That's what happens. He's just not on the graphics and stuff. All right, first down and 10 for the Mountaineers. After this play, we'll go over the defense if I get a chance. Good pass. Oh, my goodness. What a play. All right, where's the defense? Here we go. Defense for the Cadets, led by William Reed and Javon Stewart at defensive end. Henry Hamilton at defensive tackle. Trey Upton at middle linebacker. In the secondary is Bryson Shields at corner. Two free safeties, Darius Peters, Jack Hammer, and at strong safety is Mike Adams. And there is a face mask by, I believe that was Javon Stewart. Some days just breathing is all worth it. Yes, sir. Oh, Drew Jackson injured on the play for the Cadets. Non-subscriber player. 
starting quarterback is back in for the Mountaineers. Jay Balmer in the chat, Big Geo. What's going on, brother? Hope you're well, my friend. Right, second down and two for the Mountaineers. And they're going to go play action. And there's a man wide open is Smith. And he's going to get it all the way to the 43-yard line. Graphics are so good and they really add to the game. Yes, sir. Courtesy of Hammer Jammer, who is right here. Where is he? There he is. Right there. Oh, boy. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoy the graphics. The roster graphics, I, I had something similar. He just made it. <laughs> he just made it better. Because I am not really good at creating a, a whole lot of anything, really. All right, second down and ten. Yeah, that's a draw. Get him. Okay, then. You want to see a 50-burger? Okay, Harris. I see you. I don't know if it's going to happen in this game. Definitely the next game. Savannah State versus Hampton. They're about to get blown up, son. They're down at five for App State. Quick pass for them. That's quick pass. And I swear to sweet baby Jeebus, if he caught that, I would have been real upset. All right, let's blitz. Fourth and five. They got four receivers. Lewis, not a bad season so far. 691 yards passing, three touchdowns for the Mountaineers. I am blitzing Hammer Jammer. That's a direct snap. Miles Dawkins up in here, and they don't get it. Dirty Creek Sports, what's going on, brother? Long time no here. Yes, sir. It's been uh, it's, it's been a rough couple months for me. So, you know, <laughs> just trying to get some content out there as much as I can. Now you want a burger and fries? Yeah, if somebody could just order me a burger and fries, that would just be great. Just get it sent to my house. Jake Barry's wide open. Let's go, Jake. Let's go. Get wrecked, son. Touchdown, Keep Dets. Jake Barry is such a monster. If you're a scout for the Elite Football League and your team is in need of a tight end, you're going to want to draft Jake Barry in the first round of the EFL draft. Because he's fast. I mean, he just outran the entire secondary. And that boy can catch. I tell you what. I tell you what. Right, 99 kick power, and that is up and through. It's 14 nothing here in the first quarter. Jay Washington in the chat. What's going on, Jay? BMI's never doubted you. Yeah, BMI has been one of the most consistent teams in this series so far. They're nasty. Their problem. Uh, in this series was right at the start in season one their offense they had a really hard time getting things going and, and hops he wasn't that good of a quarterback but his sophomore season last year uh, season two of this series he really stepped up big time and now this season he's seen himself on the Heisman watch list and there's a sack Lewis dropped for a big loss that is Jackson his fifth career sack he is the other defensive tackle not subscriber player for the Kedets Alright, second out of 15. Crowd trying to get crazy. Not the biggest stadium in the world. But they can get a little loud. Good pass, right side, it's picked off! And it's gone! And he's inside the 10 yard line. Non subscriber linebacker coming through. Oh my goodness. Jake Barry's definitely going pro after this season. Yeah, most likely. He is such a monster. So, Justin Hops is 2 of 4 so far in this game with two touchdowns and over 100 yards. You'll love to see it. Throw it up. And, oh, drops. Looked like it bounced off of Jake Barry. That was intended for Jay Balmer coming across the right side here. That was a nice deflection. It bounced off of the leg of Jake Barry. 
right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, second and goal from the seventh. Okay, just gonna take off. That's too easy. Touchdown, Keith Dets. Justin Hopkins, third of the game. Who am I playing right now? Yeah, they are <laughs> firing on all cylinders at the moment. Oh, that linebacker jumped up. <laughs> what a pump fake. I don't know if you guys have noticed throughout, you know, every single video of this channel, uh, but I tend to pump fake quite a bit. Because, you know, every once in a while you get a play like that where the linebacker just leaves his feet and nobody chases you down and you get an easy touchdown to the right side. Punzi 34, are we into week four? Yes, sir. Started last night, the Bryant Bulldogs taking on the Howard Bison. This is game number two, and we're going to have another game right after this one. The number one ranked Savannah State Tigers, 3-0 on the season, will be taking on the Hampton, uh, yeah, the Hampton Pirates. Got him with the okie doke, yes, sir. Alright, first and ten for the Mountaineers. And Miles Dawkins came to play again. And they lose a couple yards on that one. Second down and 13. I am determined to get this man right here an interception. He dropped like five of them last game. Uh oh. Okay, that was a terrible throw. 21 nothing in the first quarter. It's going to get ugly like that Bubba Sparks song. <laughs> you know, it just might. I can't remember who it was, but somebody wanted a 50 burger, so I might have to try to do that for him. Oh my goodness, the pressure. Immediate pressure up the middle. Okay, then. I want to block a punt. Let me do it. We were close last night with the Bulldogs. Aww. I mean, I hit triangle. He just didn't want to do it. Sit. All right, let's see what we can do here. First and 10 from our own 39-yard line in the first quarter still. That block? Okay, he didn't get the block. Throw it up! Nope, that's that's gonna be picked. Oh my goodness. Jason Wright almost got to that. Wow. I don't really know if we've actually ran the football at all with our running backs yet, but we're gonna right here. Oh my. That is a face mask, five yard variety. All right. Up to 13 viewers now on the stream. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Don't forget to slap that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community today to get yourself in this series and play for one of our 12 schools. I know Triangle's open. I'm trying. And I can't believe that he caught that. I thought it was going to be picked 100%. John Jensen in the chat. What's going on, John? Before you ask, I know. I'll get to North Carolina. Don't you worry. All in good time, my friend. That was Hop's first completion. That was not a touchdown tonight. That's insane. And Jay Ballmer inside the five, down to the two-yard line for the sophomore tight end. Not a whole lot of people talk to him, or talk about him, rather. But, I mean, it's kind of hard to <laughs> really pay a lot of attention to the number two tight end when the number one is Jake Barry, and he is just such a beast. Jay Ballmer, oh, bounced off the back of his head. Plays like that aren't helping either. <laughs> 
That's all good. I forgive you, Jay. Carry Ladarius Johnson, the sophomore, gets in there for the score. I think that's his first carry of the game, actually. You know, I honestly thought this was going to be a closer game. App State is 2-0 on the season. And, I mean, they, they have plenty of talent. There just hasn't been a whole lot of stuff going their way in this game. It started off with the first play of the game with Jason Wright catching a deep pass, breaking a tackle, and going the distance. 15 seconds into the game. Man, what a kick. Oh my goodness. Alright, sending hammer on a blitz. Drop the hammer on him. That was definitely pass interference by me. I ran right into that guy. But they didn't call it, so we're just going to keep it moving. Also, if you guys want some uh, Elite Football League merchandise, we have a hoodie, a shirt, and a coffee mug. I believe the link to that is in the description below. I'm not 100% sure if I put it in there. Let me see. I did not feels bad but the patreon is in there discord link is in there as well we'll have to get that on there but an easy way to find the link it's right on the video that you see on the channel when you click on my name third down and three for the mountaineers oh what a pick <laughs> oh my goodness i can't believe i just did that wow Oh, man. How much are the t-shirts? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, Parker. I can't remember. Like, maybe 20? It's been a while since I've been on the, the Teespring website. That's Gunn's second interception of the game. My goodness. Okay. Oh, nice tackle. About a six-yard carry. I might score 112. I don't know about that. Number one offense in the country, 608 yards per game for VMI. Who wants it? Throw it up. Jake Barry's there. Oh, the defender left his feet. <laughs> Jake Barry's gone again. Oh, my goodness. We saw the merch. Oh, yeah, the, the merchandise is also uh, in the Discord community as well. If you click on Elite Football League Alerts, it is the final alert all the way down to the bottom. I believe I posted the shirt in there. Did I post the shirt? Yeah, the shirt's in there. I'm trying to get a hat in there as well. Um, but I was having issues with the hat. I don't know what's going on with it. But I'm going to keep trying because I would love to have a hat with the EFL logo on it. That would be amazing. 35 nothing here in the first quarter, guys. What's going on? What is this? What actually is this? Parker, did you just say cool beans? I like it. Oh, they can't even return a kick. Feels bad. That is the end of the first quarter, 35 nothing. Cadets on top. They are looking nasty this season, guys. I I don't know if anyone's going to beat them. <laughs> I really don't. Let me see what their schedule looks like. I don't even have their schedule posted in there. Oh, my goodness. Hammer laying down the law. I 
That's what he does. Drops interceptions and destroys people. Come on, second down and 11. And, oh my goodness, he just got clothesline. That was uh, Javon Stewart, I believe. Third down and 11 now. Trying to pull up the BMI schedule here to see who they got. So we pass left side, wide open is Hayden. If he didn't have to do that weird animation on the sideline, he would have been all right. That is not the schedule is that I want to see. That is from season two. Feels bad. Did I not do? I don't think I did a graphic for that. Sick. Oh well. Get there. Okay. I'll kick this coverage. You'd love to see it. Let's go, Bryson. Let's go, Bryson. No! Bryson Shields on the sideline! And he is gone! Touchdown, VMI. No, it's coming back. No! Oh, man. Feels bad, guys. I mean, it really does. It just feels real bad. So App State catches a little bit of a break there. All right, Hops, what are we doing here, buddy? Throwing it up deep. Matheny open. He's got it. Inside the 45-yard line. 228 yards passing to the right side of the field. My goodness. They had a linebacker on him. No wonder why he beat him so bad. Beat him like he stole something. All right, let's hand it off here. Cam Sanders. He's in the zone. Okay, okay. Sanders breaking tackles left and right. Gets a block, and he's gone. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's go. What a run. Breaks one tackle. Breaks another from a linebacker. And a clutch block downfield from the freshman receiver. Oh, Majibus. And it's about to be 42 nothing here. Six touchdown lead for the Cadets. You see some backups in here in the second half. 100 percent I almost feel bad for <laughs> for anybody that has to face VMI. But then I realize, you know, I get to use them, so I get to have the fun. Of course, they do got South Dakota State and North Dakota State in their conference, so eventually, you know, they, they might slip up to one of our other subscriber schools. You never know. Because those are the games that I don't play. Those are the ones we just watch. Need the 50 burger with 50 fries and 50 shakes. <laughs> Oh, nice play. Hammer gets beat. Okay, then. Yeah, that weird Heisman-only difficulty uh, little animation right there. I've never seen... Well, I don't really ever play the other difficulties, so I, I don't know if I would know that or not. But I'm sure you don't see that on other difficulties. It's just the game trying to slow your player down and cheat you. Lewis looking to throw. Deep shot right side. He's almost picked off again. Man. This team is so dominant. Question for you guys. Do you think that we'll ever see a national championship game that does not have one of our 12 subscriber schools in it? I mean, it's got to happen eventually, right? Season one, we just had the Bryant Bulldogs in there. They beat Fresno State. And then season two, we saw Savannah State throttle the Dayton Flyers. And 
Oh my goodness, this quarterback has been on his back the entire game. Get it. Oh my goodness. I gotta see how close we actually were to that, guys. Just, just give me one second here. All right, we're about about five feet away right there. We're getting closer. <laughs> we're getting closer, guys. I'm telling you, you watch long enough in this series or on this channel in general, you're gonna see some block kicks. Okay, Cam, get another first down, buddy. I see you. Two carries, 53 yards. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. First down and 10 for VMI. Hobbs has to pitch it out quick, and Johnson falls forward, gets close to the sticks. Do they give it to him? Yes, they do. Sophomore moves the chains. I'm going to try to hit Barry over here on the right side. He's wide open. Got him. Breaks the tackle. Barry, oh my goodness, that man has a family. <laughs> First down, keep debts. Oh my goodness gracious. Just throws him aside, just, oh my goodness. That's, that's a felony. <laughs> you can't do that, come on now. First down and 10 from the 26. Leads the team in catches, yards, and fourth in the country in touchdowns. Don't really put too much stock into that stat, though, this early in the season. Just week four. And Hobbs falls forward. He picks up eight yards up the gut. Second down and two now. Oh boy, oh, I almost got out of that. That was really fast pressure. All right, let's bring up third down and seven. I'm gonna try to hit right on this corner route, maybe Balmer over the middle. Nope, I'm getting pressured immediately. Throw it up. Jay Balmer, he got it. <laughs> Let's go, Jay. Clutch play by Justin Hobbs. Quarterback's a scrappy M effort. <laughs> yeah, he is. He, he's one of my favorite quarterbacks. Like I said before in the stream, um, season one, I don't know what it was with this offense, but we just couldn't do a whole lot the whole year. And he was struggling. And he wasn't putting up good numbers. But sophomore season for him, he really started to turn it on, and he just destroyed. Oh, what a nasty juke. Wow. But yeah, his sophomore season, he really turned it up and put up some really good numbers. And this season, of course, he's playing great as well. Uh, he's a great runner. His, his throwing ability has improved drastically from his freshman season. And Justin Hopps, most likely going to be a first-round draft pick in the EFL whenever we get there. 7 play and 2-yard drive, 205 off the clock. And it's 49 nothing in the first half. We're definitely going to put the backups in uh, for the second half. Well, at least the backup quarterback. And we run both halfbacks all game long anyway, so... We got plenty of young guys out here on defense already, so just keep them in. Get some more playing time for everybody. Get all that experience. I just don't want Hops to get injured in the second half when we're winning by seven touchdowns. Who wants that smoke? Oh my goodness, Hammer, you dropped another interception, buddy. 
Look at those numbers. 8 of 13, 298 yards, 3 touchdowns. And Hops also has one on the ground tonight. Right, stick around after this stream, guys. We're going to be doing this one right here. Savannah State at Hampton. Coming up after this stream. Uh-oh. Nice. Nice play. Good post route. I couldn't get over there. The ref is in my way. It's just awkward. Very awkward play to make. Get him. Okay. Hayden in there. Picks up five yards. Pete Mitchell watching the game on the big screen. You love to see it. Just posted a video or posted a uh, picture in the Discord community. Oh my goodness! I I tried to move to the right and he just ran forward. Feels bad. All right, I'm sending the house. Let's do it. Hayden, not a bad season. 12 catches, 197 yards, and a touchdown for App State. Where's that throw going? Oh, what a hit by Peters. Wow. We've pressured the quarterback 13 times. we got two picks, but only one sack. And we've hit him so many times. We've got to get there a little bit quicker. Pretty good numbers for Lewis in his career. 23 touchdowns, 12 picks, over 3,600 passing yards. Not bad at all. He's definitely got some talent. That's why his team is 2-0 on the season. But VMI is just way too much for pretty much anybody at this point. Uh, Savannah State versus these guys would be a really good game. All right, 0 for 6 on third downs. So we got five wide receivers on the field. Third and 10. Quick pass right side, and it's picked! Mike Adams, the senior strong safety down the left sideline, and Mike is gone! Touchdown BMI! The 50-burger, the 84-yard pick six. Oh my goodness, he had one like that last season as well. And of course they cut the replay short, but oh my goodness, that was nasty. Nice spinning interception. Fifty-six to zero here in the second quarter. I love me a pick six, man. I love it. One of my favorite kind of plays. What a kick. Oh my goodness. Kicker's got a boot. Okay, quarterback draw. Oh, nice suction block right there. Okay, then. Three yard pickup. Javon Stewart on the tackle. Sophomore in defensive end. He also plays some linebacker as well. Certain formations. Man coverage. Press. Let's go. Let's do it. I wish you could, like, run up and just, like, big hit the receiver at the line of scrimmage. Because that's not pass interference, but I wish you could do it. Deep shot right side. And it's picked again. Thompson. Easy. Easy money. You know what? I'm going to try a field goal with this kicker. It's a 55-yard attempt from here. Lewis, four interceptions. Oh, that wasn't even his fault. He got destroyed. All right, guys. Let's see if we can do it. 55-yard field goal attempt for Clark. I don't know if he's got the leg. I'm not even sure if he's the kicker that does kickoffs. 99 power. Clark's field goal. Oh, he got it. <laughs> He got it. Let's go. 59-0 at the half. Oh, my goodness. Here's our next game for you guys to, you know, just look at this sick graphic courtesy of
Hammer Jammer while I put the backup quarterback, Paul Wallace, sophomore, in there. And we are back on the field. 55-yard field goal. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on. Before I kick it off, let's see how close that was. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That doesn't get any closer, guys. <laughs> oh, man. That is beautiful. And he is the one that just does the kickoffs. Wow. That was great. I love me a long field goal. I love it. Get him. Get him. 402 yards of offense for VMI in the first half. 125 for App State. And it's 59-0. Mountaineers have as many turnovers as they do first downs. Oh my goodness. Gun. That's his third pick of the game. Non-subscriber linebacker. Get out of here. <laughs> wow. What is going on? It's the fifth interception for the defense tonight. I love the tip drill. I love it. Goodness gracious. This is bananas. It's a great kicker. Deserves to be in EFL. I'm sure he will be eventually. Sanders will pick up a couple yards off the right side. Klein is OP. Devs need to nerf him. <laughs> I don't think... That wasn't even me on that interception. I mean, that's just a nice deflection that leads to a pick. Classic 2010 president. What's going on, buddy? Remember when App State upset Michigan? Yes, sir. I watched that game live, and it was amazing. Oh, Jake Barry with a rare drop. Okay, then. Third down and eight. Just going to run it. Why not? Ladarius Johnson in the backfield. Jake Barry is in the zone at the tight end on the right side. Oh, boy. And I'm pretty sure I got the first down on that one. Yes, sir. First and goal from the three-yard line. Got a Mexican standoff in my hallway again between two of my cats. I'd love to see it. All right, first and goal from the three. Did you hear a cat? Yes, you did. There's three of them in here. Bitch it, Paul. Oh, he just outran everybody. Okay, then. I thought I had to stiff arm. Did the animation and everything. The guy still couldn't catch me. That is a 60 burger. Why did Wallace pitch that with his right hand when we're running left? That's just awkward. But yeah, we got three cats here. Got one that actually lives in the office. His name is William. I rescued him. He was uh, 11 years old in a shelter. He's a black cat. And the people at the shelter said, you know, nobody wanted him. He's been there for a couple years. So apparently, people are weird and don't like black cats, I guess. And then we got a tortoise, tortoise shell? Yeah, tortoise shell cat. Her name is Reese. She is my favorite. We've had her for um, six years. I think six years. And the other cat rescued from my mom's house. That's a user pick. Darius Peters inside the 20 yard line. Six interceptions now for the defense. Yeah, our other cat, her name is Nanami. She is named after um, a character in my all-time favorite game. We rescued her, well, I rescued her out of a tree at my mother's house, and we took her home. Not quite the crazy cat lady starter kit. Yeah, well, two, well really, we rescued all of them, because Reese, the tortoise shell cat, um, our landlord at the time, just, just, you know, gave her to us because <laughs> the cat wasn't getting along with the other cats at their house so we rescued her we rescued the other two as well all of our animals are rescues except for my bulldog Ridley is 
This is a fun game. Yeah, this is really fun. I mean, not for App State, but <laughs> VMI is having a blast. Bring the third strings in, let them get some plays. Yeah. Well, we got. Um, I'm the head coach for VMI, so all the formation subs, you know, has pretty much everybody playing. So it's not like it's going to really change anything. You know, minus, like, the offensive line if I did mass subs. Got the 70 burger, guys. Well, while I'm destroying App State, you guys can, uh, we can do a little Q&A. Ask me anything, guys. Quite the noble breed, yes sir. I always wanted a bulldog. My wife got me one for my birthday four years ago. And he is also named after a uh, character in my favorite game of all time as well, General Ridley. Oh my goodness. Alright, second down to ten. Oh my goodness, there's still four minutes left in the third? What is happening here? Oh, this should have been another pick. Alright, third down and four. I'm not even going to play this play. I'm going to sit by my iced tea. That's right. That was actually a really good throw from David Vickers, the backup quarterback. Yeah, they'll, they'll never put create a team back in Madden. Because the NFL wants, you know, like total control over the teams that are represented or teams that could be represented in their product. There we go. There's another sack, finally. That is William Reed. Just our second sack of the ballgame. Second down and 17 now. How can you not hear? It's only two bars, my guy. Oh, I couldn't quite get there. That wasn't even my zone, but I ran over to try to help Mike Adams. Just couldn't quite get there in time. That was a great throw. Perfectly placed. Deep shot. Left side. Jack Hammer's there. Oh, he got beat. App State finds the end zone. Finally, 34-yard touchdown pass for the Mountaineers. Oh, my goodness. How? How, Sway? It was really good coverage, too. He just, <laughs> he just couldn't get his hand on it. He's gonna hear that in the Discord. Make sure he does, guys. Tag him. Say, you know, you, you got you gave up the, the shutout for your team. Alright, 73 to 7 here in the third. If they kick this in the field of play, I'm just gonna call for a fair catch. Want some clock out, you know. Oh, so close. There's still three minutes left here in the third. Yeah, 
And Sanders gets a carry again. Breaks a tackle. Carries a defender for a couple yards. At this point, I'm just trying to run the clock out. This is insane. This game's just never going to end if I keep going. And we still got a Savannah State game to play as well, so that one could be just like this or worse. Johnson, oh my goodness. First down, he deaths. App State with negative one yards rushing. And that actually says something because we've only sacked them twice, so it's not like we've sacked them 20 times. And that, you know, that's how they lost all those yards. DMI's taking no prisoners. Yes, sir. That's how we do it here in Lexington, Virginia. Originally, I wanted to put VMI in the ACC, but then I really wouldn't have had, you know, much of a place for the Bryant Bulldogs to go since they're in Smithfield, Rhode Island. So... That is ultimately how VMI ended up in the Big 12. In case anyone was wondering. Or cared at all. Quarterback draw. And what is happening down the field? There's four guys running without blocking anybody. What are you doing? I also thought about putting uh, North Dakota State in the Big Ten. But it just made more sense to put them in the Big 12. Okay, just outrun everyone. Oh my goodness, what was that animation? What just happened? Oh my goodness. Look at this animation here. Like, the guy teleported in front of me somehow. Oh, that's so awkward. I don't think I've ever seen, you know, a, a blatantly bad animation like that in this game to that extent. Big 12 is kind of fitting in a way since West Virginia is there for real. Still weird, though. Yeah. I know. Matt Keller, the fullback. He's dropped around the one-yard line. Yeah, I wanted to have uh, at least two schools in each conference, but it just didn't work out that way, unfortunately. Like for the SEC, you know, I thought about putting Savannah State in there with Jacksonville. I mean, that, that conference would have been just completely just unbeatable if that happened. Um, but, oh, here is the Darius Johnson. He fights his way in the end zone again. Another touchdown for the sophomore. Um, so Savannah State ultimately ended up in the ACC. And then it made sense to put Bryant in there. And I wanted VMI in there as well. But then the Big 12 would have just been the Dakotas. So I put VMI in the Big 12 with those guys. And Dayton. Dayton's really the only one that made a whole lot of sense to me uh, for the Big 10. And yeah, I could have put I could have put North Dakota in there. Or North Dakota State or South Dakota State in there. But I don't know. They just seemed like Big 12 schools to me. Look at that kick. Oh my goodness. And obviously the Pac-10, I mean, we got five schools in there. And that's the only way that could have happened anyways, because there's not a whole lot of West Coast representation uh, in the FCS. Guys, it's 80-7. to 7. And I'm sitting here talking about something that I had to think about um, like three years ago. Pass right side. That's Hayden, leading receiver on the Mountaineers this season. Nice catch for the first down.
the backup quarterback's playing better than their starter. You'd love to see it. Man's wide open over here. And Hayden will get nothing. Get your fours up in the chat, guys. App State looking to come back here. Down 80-7. to seven. Oh, nice play by Trey Upton. Haven't really called his name at all tonight. The junior middle linebacker. He's had a very quiet game. That state one of eight on third downs. Let's see if Jack Hammer will get beat again. Deep shot left side, and that's Jackson. I don't care about the face mask. That's fine. What are they gonna do? Get get another first down? Whatever. Which is why the WAC is recruiting Division two schools. Yeah, I know. I just I don't agree with that though. Like. I don't see how that's going to work because they're just going to have the conference filled with D2 schools and they're all going to get pummeled. Who wants to watch that or be a part of it? I do agree that they need more representation for sure, though. 100%. Because if you pull up a map like that has logos and stuff of FCS schools, <laughs> it's just so barren on the left side of the map. Good old empty West Coast. Okay, he's wide open. Get that tackle. Let's go. Okay, then. open. No gain on the reception. Regear Productions in the chat. What's going on, man? 80? <laughs> yeah. There was 35 points in the first quarter. It all started off with a Jason Wright touchdown on the first play of the game. Justin Hopps, four total touchdowns. BMI defense with... Oh my goodness, almost another interception. I think they have six interceptions. Three for Gunn, non-subscriber middle linebacker. And Mike Adams, the senior strong safety, has an 84-yard pick six in this game. Oh, how did I not deflect that? Are you kidding me? Good touchdown. Okay, okay. App State coming back. Look out. Oh my goodness, right over Trey Upton and Darius Peters. Get out of here. Don't forget to slap the like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And if you're not in the Discord community, please join us. I think we have close to 150 members in there, actually. Of course, we have had a couple leave in these past few days, but whatever. Sayonara. Elvita Zane. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Aww. I was trying to get crazy there. Our next game. Right after this stream, guys, stay tuned for the number one Savannah State Tigers 3-0 on the season traveling to take on the Hampton Pirates in ACC action. At least you're here. Yes, sir, Parker. At least you are here. For all the Tigers in the chat, make sure you guys go into your locker room. Let let all your teammates know that you guys are going to be playing here in about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Whenever this game will end. Okay, Wallace. You get that first down, brother. Let's go. Wallace is actually a pretty decent quarterback. 80 overall for the non-subscriber sophomore quarterback. Oh, 
all of you guys are my witnesses. I was not running up the score in this game. I mean, we just pummeled them in the first half. But I'm clearly running the football here in the second half. Running that clock out. Johnson, four touchdowns in this game? I did not realize he had four touchdowns. All right, let's get Cam Sanders some love. That is bonkers. I had no idea he had four touchdowns. On 10 carries? Bruh. Oh my goodness. What do you mean? One of my cats is sitting in a box all curled up in a ball. The box is way too small for her, but it's adorable. Let's go, Cam. Oh, he's gone. Oh, oh, the disrespect. <laughs> oh, baby. That is rough. Let's see the backups in the game. Listen, listen, Jay. The backups, there's no backups, all right? The teams that I control, which are the Bryant Bulldogs, uh, Cal Poly Mustangs, who else? VMI, I control them. Um, I control Northern Colorado and South Dakota State. All those schools that I just mentioned. Um, I have the formation subs. Oh, that might be a miss. Nope, we're good. I have all the uh, formation subs, so every single player on the team plays. K2 is the name. What's going on, man? How you doing, buddy? So, yeah, if you want to get some playing time, just go to one of those schools that I mentioned. Everybody gets playing time on, on the teams I control. You might not be able to see your player all the time. Like, for instance, like on kickoffs, I always make sure that all the freshmen that at least have some speed, you know, linebackers, safeties, corners, some receivers, you know, maybe a defensive end if he's got speed in the 80s, I always make sure that they're on kickoffs and punts uh, just to see if they can, you know, get some tackles and whatnot. And that's where they make an impact. At least until someone else steps up to become the coaches. Yes, sir. Always looking for committed people to, you know, make that leap to be a head coach in one of our 12 schools. Keep shot left side. Hammer, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Hammer just got mossed by an offensive lineman. He will never live that down. So yeah, since I do all those formation subs, it doesn't do anything if I do mass subs for offense or defense. I can only switch out like a couple people here and there. Especially since um, the teams that I do control, the five schools, I think it's five. Yeah, it's five schools. I only basically just run their base defense. I don't get crazy with it, you know? Oh, he got wrecked. Like, this entire game, all I've ran is a 4-2-5. That's it. I don't really like to switch it up too much. Third down and in inches for App State. Fullback dive. And Anderson picks up the first down. Peters on the stop. Yeah, celebrate. Down by 73. Get pumped. Wow, where was that throw going? 20 hurries. Wow. I don't know if we've ever seen that <laughs> in this series. 20 hurries, guys. This game is insane. Only two sacks, though. That's crazy. That's the crazier part about it, really. Wow. Henry Hamilton, his first tackle of the game. 
He's been very quiet. Him and Trey Upton have been just non-existent tonight. Yeah, State 4 of 11 on third downs. I think they were over 6. Quick pass left side. Nice deflection. I believe that was Bryson Shields. First time we've called his name on defense. Shields from his nine yard line. And gets it up to the 18. Had a touchdown called back earlier. You run your own dynasty, use the formation subs mostly for special teams for the extra playing time. Yeah, that's usually what I do for my own dynasties. I really just, I like to get all like the freshmen involved and stuff, you know? Make some, uh, some corners, some freshman cornerbacks like the Gunners on punt. Stuff like that. Just anywhere where they can get some extra experience, some extra playing time. VMI is just too nasty this season. I don't know if anyone's going to beat them, guys. You might see the Cadets in the title game. Cam Sanders just <laughs> going through the defense. Wow, 190 yards for Cam Sanders tonight. I think he only has one touchdown, though. Right. Sophomore halfback with Arius Johnson has been the touchdown machine. Johnson again up to the 45-yard line. That's going to be the final play of the game, guys. Goodness gracious. Well, if you're still here after this 73-point victory from VMI against App State, stick around. Cam Sanders played the game. Oh, he's got three touchdowns. Jackson for App State gets played the game. Five catches, 110 yards, and a score. Um, but, yeah, stick around about 10 minutes after this stream is over. He's starting up the next stream, which is going to be this one right here. Savannah State at Hampton. ACC action. It's most likely going to be, um, you know, a game filled with highlights for the Tigers. But you never know. You never know, guys. They could get upset. It's a possibility. Cal Poly just got beat by Prairie View A&M last week. You know, at this point, anything can happen. I don't think it's going to happen. But I'm just saying, it could Check out these stats right quick. 587 yards of offense for VMI. 289 on the ground, 398 through the air. App State did have 308 passing yards, though. We sacked them twice. They sacked us once. We intercepted them six times. Bonkers. And this game was over in the first quarter. 35-0. And we definitely did slow it down. 35, 24, 21, and 7. You know, I was being nice. I was trying to just run the clock out there in the second half. Best play of the game, in my opinion. That 55-yard field goal. I'm just saying. What's up? Hops, 8 of 13, 298, three touchdowns, no picks. He also had one on the ground tonight. Ladarius Johnson with four on the ground. Sanders with one. Matheny did have a touchdown called back. That was only <laughs> that was Jason Wright's only catch. It was the first play of the game. 76 yards for the score. Barry also had four pancakes. Joseph Martin, we didn't see him at all in this game. Jack Hammer, four tackles, one for a loss. Okay, then. I see you. Bunch of tackles for a loss, a couple sacks, and six interceptions. Three for Chris Gunn. Insane. 
Peters three deflections. Hammer had one. No forced fumbles. Pick six for Mike Adams. Ross Clark, freshman kicker. If you want to be a kicker in this series, you want to be Ross Clark. All right. 50, oh, they credited him with a 56-yarder. Okay. Let's go. 12 of 12 extra points and 13 kickoffs, 10 touchbacks. This guy is going to be a beast of a kicker. Oh, my goodness. Might have to put him at punter as well since uh, Dominique Davidson only had a 36-yarder tonight. And Bryson Shields had a punt return for a touchdown called back tonight as well. Players of the game, Jackson, Vickers, and Smith for App State as they fall to 2-1. and one. Sanders, Hops, and Johnson for VMI as they improve to 3-0 and on the season. And they will most likely keep that number two ranking. Our next game, Savannah State, number one in the land, traveling to take on the Hampton Pirates here in week four in ACC action. I'll see you guys with that one in about 10 minutes. Take it easy, guys.